Okay, so let's jump into the player controller script. And what we'll need to do here is create a new variable, public health bar, and we'll just call it health bar with a lowercase h there. So what's happening here is we're getting access to that health bar script that we're just working on then. So we've got access to that script here, which means that we can call the uh, damage method to pass in a value that will be used to subtract from the player's health. And that will occur when the player collides with the spikes. So we've already got some collision detection code down here that we have for detecting when the player hits the fall detector or a checkpoint or one of the portals to go to the next or previous level or a crystal to collect some points. But um, this, all of these collisions are in an on trigger enter 2D method. So this method is only called when the player enters a collider, all right, when that's detected. Not, um, it's not consistently or repeatedly called when the player is in a collider. Um, so if you want health to keep, um, you know, if you want the player to keep losing health as long as they're touching the spikes, then what we're gonna to need to use is the on trigger stay 2D method instead. Otherwise, you know, if the player just touches the spikes, they'll lose health. And if they're standing on the spikes, they won't keep losing health. Um, so let's go down here and add another method here, private on trigger stay 2D. So just double click that. And then we'll check if the collision was with an object that had the tags tag spike. If we collided with one of the spikes then, we'll call that uh, damage method from the health bar script and pass in a value. And this is gonna be how much we're taking off the player's health. So I would suggest starting with a small value because remember that this method is gonna be called every frame that while we're colli um, colliding with a spike. So it's gonna keep repeating this every single frame that we're colliding with a spike. So you don't want this to be a large value, otherwise the health is gonna be depl depleted like really quickly. It might just disappear in a second. So we'll start with that value there and then we can change that um, if we need to. All right, make sure that those scripts are saved and go back into Unity. And now what we're gonna to need to do is uh, go to the bar object. So this bar here, and we'll need to attach the health bar script to it. So you can just click and drag that health bar script on over here, and that's attached there. And then what we'll need to do is select the uh, canvas. Here we go, select the canvas, and then click overrides and apply all. All right, so that's going to apply that change to um, the canvas prefab. So that script, the help bar script will be attached to the bar uh, and that will be in both level one and level two in this canvas prefab. We can check that in a minute. And what we'll need to do is just click on the player, scroll down where we can see the player controller script and we have that health bar variable, okay? Um, so we'll need to drag the bar onto there, okay? So it can get access to the bar object, which has the health bar script attached to it. So it can then call the damage method and um, uh, reduce the player's health. Okay, um, I'll save that. Go into any other scenes that you have as well. So I'm in level one, so I'll go into level two and just check that the bar has the health bar script attached to it, which it does, so that was applied to the prefab. But we'll also just need to go to the player and make sure that we link that bar to the health bar variable there as well. Okay, because uh, the player is not actually a prefab, so we just need to make sure we do that in each scene. That And that's it for now. So um, let's go and test that and just make sure we save that and I'm gonna go back into level one. There's a couple more things that we can do, but we'll just test this as it is right now. OK, 
Okay, so let's go and jump on one of these spikes. And you can see the health is going down and it's, it's going down as long as I'm standing on those spikes. Okay, and just get into level two as well and check that the health is the same. So the health is still the same there. Lose some health there when I touch those spikes and go back to level one and the health is still low. So the health is being saved and uh, reflected in each scene there. Okay, now the last thing that we might wanna do here is maybe just make the health bar go red to indicate that health is really low. So um, maybe when health is below about 30%, we can change the color to red um, to show that the player doesn't have much health left. Um, so what we'll need to do is go back into the health bar script. So I'm back in the health bar script and we'll add this variable here, private image bar image. So now we can get uh, access to, if we just go to that bar, we can get access to this component here, the image component, and then we can change that color there from green to red. Okay, so in the start method, just add another line here, bar image equals get component image. Oops. Okay, just like that. And if we go down to the damage method, uh, when we set the size of the health bar, we can also check if the health is below a certain level and uh, change the color as well. So just before we call that function, I'm gonna add an if statement here. If health dot total health is less than 0.3, so if health is less than 30%, we'll set the color. Of the uh, bar image to color dot red. Okay, uh, and then I'm gonna actually copy and paste this line. So, sorry, this if statement here, copy and paste that. And gonna put this in the start method as well. All right, so that just means that when uh, the player's health goes below 30%, the color of the bar will change to red, but it will also make sure that, that it's it's still red uh, when you jump to another scene if their health is below 30%. And let's test that out. Okay, so, well, <laughs> could also make it that you lose health when you hit the um, fall detector as well. All right, so there we go. The health bar has changed to red and I'm just gonna go into level two and check that it's still red and it's still red. Now, if you have a problem, health is now zero and I haven't added any game over message or anything like that yet, but health is now clearly zero. If you do detect a problem where you're um, on the spikes, but you're not you're not moving, just players just idle on the spikes, and then health is not going down. Um, if the health is only going down when you're moving on the spikes, then what you might wanna do is just go to the player object and uh, scroll down to the rigid body 2D component and you can change sleeping mode from start awake to never sleep. So I wasn't detecting that problem then, but if you do uh, find, do you have a problem where the health is only going down when the player's moving on the spikes and um, not when the player's idle, just change the sleeping mode to never sleep and it should fix that problem. Um, anyway, that's it for, um, for this tutorial. So that's how to add a health bar and a health system to a 2D game. Thanks for watching.